All right, so today I'm gonna to share with you my top healthy meal prep hacks. So when I first started my journey several years ago, I just remember thinking about meal prep and becoming so overwhelmed. Like thinking about making five to six meals and then you know a few other breakfasts and a few other dinners, it just became like something that felt very overwhelming and stressful and I don't want you to feel stressed. The more stress that we have in our life, the less chance we have of actually succeeding. So I wanna help you simplify meal prepping, give you some of my best tips so that you can also set yourself up for success every single week. So the first thing here is pick the meal that seems to be the hardest for you and make that your priority to meal prep. So even if this week your goal is just to prep your lunches because that seemed to be you know, a downfall for you where you find yourself really hungry or coworkers are asking you to go out to eat or you're on the go and you don't have anything. So you find yourself in a drive through or making choices that aren't as healthy as if you would have just taken some time to prep for the week and make a few lunches. So if that is, you know, your meal that you need to get done this week, just focus on that. And then next week you can kind of focus on adding in some other meals, but I'm going to help you keep it real simple about an hour to an hour and 15. And here's what I do. So obviously I go to the grocery store. I get things that I know that I'm really going to like and, um, pick a few different meals. So I would recommend picking two to three meals that you know that you will like and enjoy this week. And then you can kind of just rotate those in and out. You don't have to have the same thing for lunch every single day or for dinner every single day. And you can also mix and match. So an example in our house, I make smoothie bags because we do a green juice or green smoothie every morning with protein. And I think that it's just so easy and quick and fast and easy for my husband. So all the better, right? Um, I will just take 10 minutes on a Sunday. I divvy out the greens into little Ziploc bags. I add whatever fruit I'm going to be adding. So I'll usually make two kinds of smoothies so we don't get bored throughout the week. So sometimes I'm doing my berries with cucumber or celery, spinach. I will add some lime juice in there. Um, but all I do is just prep the bag, throw it in the freezer when I'm ready, pick which one I want, take it out, add that lime juice, add my protein powder and whatever non-dairy milk or water that I'm going to be blending it with, set it to blend and walk away. Boom, breakfast is done. And it took me 10 minutes on Sunday to make all of those bags. Saved me a lot of time every single morning trying to chop up or pull all the different ingredients out of the refrigerator, right? So that makes breakfast very, very easy. Then I just picked two to three recipes. So this week I picked, um, I love chicken in the crock pot because I can literally set it, let it cook, take it out, and then season it a few different ways so we don't get bored with the seasoning as well. Same method works if you're gonna do the cookie sheet method. So if you're doing the cookie sheet method, that is where you would have different chicken broths or other kinds of meat that you wanna cook. And I'll season them just each differently. So I might do a taco seasoning on one. I might do an Italian seasoning on the other. I might leave some just plain with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just depends what I want that week, right? So you can season them a few different ways. You don't get bored. And then pick a couple of vegetables. So I usually do asparagus. I love Brussels sprouts. I just made a Brussels sprout uh, au gratin. It's on my website, lizroman.com, which is fantastic. Um, so I'll do that. Sometimes we'll do carrots. Sometimes we'll do squash. I even do sweet potatoes. So as my, um, smart carb, I'll do my sweet potato or my brown rice quinoa. Uh, and then I just kind of like rotate throughout those, uh, rotate that throughout the meals as well. So chop up any vegetables that you want, any lean protein that you want to make, throw it in the oven, set your timer, come back, take it out, and then just divide it out and you're done. If you're doing the crock pot method, same thing applies. You set it, let it cook, pull it out, divide it out, and then season it if you want to. So to this week, for example, I'm doing turkey meatloaf muffins, we're doing chicken, and then I do have some fish that we'll make fresh on the day that we wanna have that. So we've got three different meals. I've got cauliflower rice, we've got broccoli, we've got Brussels sprouts. We've got asparagus, so we're just gonna make those. I'm gonna roast them all in the oven, and I've also got my sweet potatoes that I'll dice up. Some I'll leave roasted to do like a mashed sweet potato, um, and then we just mix and match those throughout the week. So again, you have some 
variety and you don't have to just have the same thing every single meal or every single lunch. So usually when I go to the grocery store, I come home right away and get it done. Uh, your routine might look a little bit different. So just focus on finding what works for you in that routine. Set an hour, hour and 15 minutes aside. Get some laundry done in between. I love doing that. Um, laundry goes in, start my food prep, get everything in the oven, switch the laundry over. So it kind of helps me uh, multitask a little bit to get everything done. And ultimately, at the end of the day, I've set myself up for success. There's no guessing and wondering and the million questions of, what do you want to eat for dinner? What do you want to eat for lunch? The conversations back and forth. Um, and then I also have things that is readily available if I need to grab and go uh, instead of hitting a, the drive through or going out to restaurants and spending money at places that you don't really need to. So hope that helps. Stay tuned for more tips and we'll talk to you soon.